In this video, I want to uh, just give you sort of an overall idea of what this next section of the class is about, and in particular, what the direction is that we're going in so that as we go over all the various details, you kind of have an overall context so you can see how all those, what, what, where do all those details fit together and, and where are we going? Uh, so this section, this chapter is called Research Ideas. In other words, it's about coming up with ideas for things to study. And this, I mean, if you if you recall, we said that uh, the first step of the scientific method, uh, well, the book says that it's to observe, to make observations, uh, casual or informal observations. But the point of doing that is to see something that you want to explain. Uh, and, you know, basically, in other words, to the way I put it was to come up with a question to start questioning or wondering about the world and to come up with some kind of question that you want to answer. And then that sets you off on the research process to come up with an answer to the question, to formulate a hypothesis, use the hypothesis to make predictions and then test them and so on. So that really is what this section of the class is about, is that first step of coming up with a good question and then moving from that sort of just being something that you're wondering or thinking about into creating a formal research proposal. And that is the direction that we are headed is that I am going to have you for a future assignment, you're going to actually create what's called a research proposal. And generally how a research proposal works is that first of all you have some sort of a topic that you're interested in so you have a general you kind of come up with a general topic of interest and this can be any really anything that you are curious about you are in this class free to pick this part of it then you take that general topic and you go out and you do a search of the literature in other words you look up the past research and a, and a good part of this chapter is about how do you search through the literature how do you look through the studies that have already been done and find things relevant to what you're interested in once you have gotten some familiarity with the research that's already been done on the topic and, and that's an important step obviously because you might have some question that you're wanting answered but maybe somebody's already answered it uh, so you want to go out and just be looking at something that you're curious about, some topic that you think sounds interesting, read up on it, and uh, find out what's already been done. Somewhere during that process, if you're keeping in mind that you're trying to come up with your own research question, just keeping that in the back of your mind as you're going through and reading up on what's already been done, you'll often come up with all kinds of ideas for your own uh, study that you'd like to do, the question that you'd like to have answered. So you take this past research, you compile, you pull it together, and you use that, what you have learned there, as you might say a rationale, a rationale, in other words, a reasons or an argument for why your study is justified. So a rationale for your study. In other words, you're going out there and you're saying, here's what people have already found out but there's some limitations to that. There's something that we don't yet know. There's some unanswered question, and here, and it's an important question for the following reasons. You go through an argument to say why that thing is important to study, and that gives you the rationale for your study. And this is all going in this proposal that you're making. You're saying, I wanna do research, and here's why. Uh, so you're going to come up with this rationale for your study. You're, you're also going to get into some detail about how you're going to design it. So you're going to talk about uh, the specific methods or design of your study. Exactly what are you going to do? Who are your participants going to be? How are you going to set this up? Is it going to be an experiment? What are the conditions for the experiment going to be? This sort of thing. Um, and you're also going to talk about you know your, your particular hypothesis what you think sort of the answer to the question is wait what do you think the answer is how do you think this thing is potentially working that you're exploring um, and you're going to be able to uh, use that to 
to come up with some predictions. Just like we talked about in the steps of the scientific method, you're going to discuss your specific hypothesis and the predictions that come from that hypothesis and how your, the, your specific design, the methods that you're using in your study are going to help you test that hypothesis. Now, I don't want this to seem overwhelming. There's a lot of stuff going on here. There are a lot of skills and concepts involved in this whole process. I don't expect you to know that immediately, to understand all that right away. This is something that we're working toward down the line for you to be able to start putting this research proposal together. I'm trying to introduce you to the idea again so that you kind of know the direction we're heading. But what I'm going to try to do is break this up into bite size, small to medium size assignments that are all leading in this direction. But I want you to have this in mind so that, for example, when I tell you to go out and start looking for some articles in the scientific literature, you can have in mind that while well, those articles, you know, only have to maybe fulfill the requirements of this next assignment, if you're thoughtful about picking articles in a topic that's interesting to you, maybe those are articles that you can then use for your research proposal down the line. So I'm talking about it now to try to hopefully save you some time that you can uh, be working toward this building up to this rather than sort of trying to put this together uh, a few days before it's due.